Okay, the recording is now up, which means this is your host, Kassar Spell, and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. I am a massive fan of this game. I have played every route, gone every achievement, and I have thoroughly exhausted all of my love love for this game but it's been a few years and that love keeps on crawling back we're going to be playing ourselves a very casual playthrough this time but i want to show just just a run through of it i never streamed it before let me stream it but we're going to have fun with it so i'm gonna let the cutscene play out and i'll see you guys after it changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You 
You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Oh, what an absolutely wonderful opening to the game. I I love that opening so much. I know a lot of people, a lot of other people do too. It's probably just so fantastic. You're not expecting to wake up from that because you were just shot in the face, but here we are. That's how the journey begins. Whoa, easy there. Easy. You've been out I still remember the one of the first times I booted up Fallout New Vegas. It was on the PC. It had that weird glitch where Doc Mitchell's head kept spinning around. And I knew... And it was at that time, I didn't even know what a Bethesda game really was. I thought that was just, you know, normal. But, no. Nah. Silly me. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Seriously, you guys could probably Google Doc Mitchell's head spinning glitch and see exactly what I'm talking about. Got you host of my did. Oh, thank you so much for the host. So. We're going to start, uh, I am Caucasian, unfortunately. Anyway, we're going to randomize until I find something absolutely absurd. Let's see. Yeah, you look messed up. Uh, can we get weirder? Oh yes, you do not look well. So now I'm going to make myself old as dirt because that's what I feel like. Hairstyle. Hmm. I'm never even going to see my face. So I guess the Warhawk works. Hair color. Well, you know it's gonna be purple. Darker purple. Facial hair. Yes, that looks stupid. You're great. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Uh, what? Good. Why did the camera snap? I didn't move the controller. Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. It is to me. Move. Speed run. Got it. Good so far. Go ahead and give the big Dang it! No speed run. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna need six strength, six perception. For endurance, new no charisma. Yes, intelligence. Don't really need that much agility. And give me that luck. There we go. With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. To grab an object. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dog. Shelter. Night. Night. Enemy. Enemy. Light. 
Light. Mother. Mother. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Woof! Gonna kill people. I ain't given to relying on others for support. No opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Welcome to my stream, everyone. Be sure to follow. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Me caveman. I charge in to deal with... Yeah. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, thumbs up. Okay. How about this one? A butt. Last one. Girls. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay, so we're going to need... Let's throw in some barter and some guns. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I don't know my family history. That could be more common than you think, but we're going to go for good-natured and skilled. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. All right, so now that we're free to do whatever... No, wait, we should probably grab what we can from him. Take me to the front door, Doc. Here, these are yours. Was all you had Stim on packs, you in. bottle caps, I mind, but I gave them hobby pins, I thought it might help me find gun! Kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on Doc this Mitchell road game road when on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. You got it. Try not to get killed anymore. Oh, Doc, I'm actually hurting right now. I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long. But if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. So, let's see. Medicine 30. Isn't it customary for a doctor to prescribe a follow-up medication? Of course. You've been through a lot. It ain't much, but these will do you right if the pain flares up. Speech 30. I'm in a lot of pain, Doc. Can you spare any more? Of course. You've been through a lot. It ain't much, but these will do you right if the pain flares up. Thank you so you much. Alright, next bottle caps. Let's see what you got. Medical brace, um, anti-venom, stim packs, radix. Yeah, I'm looting this guy. Let's see. Laser pistol, some energy cells. Ooh, scrap metal. Scalpel, that's worth a little. Okay, but over here. What if we repair this SMG? A little bit of XP and we get ourselves an SMG. Some sarsaparilla. Make me some stim packs because I am smart. Let's see what else we got over here. Well, they didn't really care about blood pack and surgical tubing. What, you, what else you got? What else you got that I want? Wait. Ooh, a carton of cigarettes. You're too kind to me, Doc. I mean, I am allowed to take this. Sugar bombs, pork and beans, knife. Ammo. 
Cram, cram. A couple of empty syringes. Always good to bring the used syringes. You got anything in here? Nothing worth taking. Broxo cleaner. Broxo cleaner. Refrigerator. Oh, you got steak? Mine now, but thank you, Doc. You got a pilot light in here? Heck yeah, money! Hey, Doc, you're gonna have to go grocery shopping. And the light, it burns! All the DLC messages. I'm going to go kill the remains of that raven. It's dead. So if anyone didn't know how birds work in New Vegas, you're probably extraordinarily confused by what I just did there. But let that... Killed that raven too. Anyway, uh, it birds were... Uh, the game works perfectly fine. There are absolutely no weird things going on with New Vegas whatsoever. Grab me some sarsaparilla. Oh no, I'm a bad boy stealing all that good sarsaparilla. This one doesn't even count as stealing. Okay, let's see. Take some whiskey, some scotch, more sarsaparilla. This could be it. Ooh. Five, huh? Four. Come on, computer, work with me. And this is this is old school Fallout, like three in New Vegas, where if you get locked out, you're locked out permanently unless you take a perk. So I ain't risking that. Heavily camping. No. Outrage. Nothing cool. Got it. Let me just take that, that. Ooh, you got a shotgun in here. Shame I don't use those.
Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Um, Doc said you could teach me to survive in the desert? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what I really happened. don't, but go ahead and tell me. All right, I'm right behind you, Sonny. Yep, right behind you. And we get ourselves a revolver! Free! Now the saloon's completely empty. I can just ransack the whole place. Probably should have done this to begin with. This sneaking around in the back all the time. Let's say I could steal that. Don't worry, I didn't kill anyone in there. Oh crap, I'm holding the murder weapon. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. You got it. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? You got it. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast. <laughs> Evil playthrough? Nah, game's gonna say I'm a good playthrough. We just had a rough beginning. I gotta build my villain back... I gotta build my backstory of being evil. Also, we're not really going to use that. Uh, why don't we grab... It's kind of a waste of ammo, but why not? Gets me through the beginning faster. Look, you kill a lot of ghouls doesn't make you a good person no matter what the karma meter says. Hey, hey, hey. Like I said, I am renouncing my evil ways eventually, maybe. Still stealing things, but... Okay, look, I'm gonna be evil as heck. But the game will say I am a paragon of justice by the end of this playthrough. I'll loot him on the way up. Just need to make sure I save her. You like that? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you've done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. I look bleeding, but same thing.
Oh, dang it, the Cheyenne glitch is happening. I mentioned this yesterday in Artman Advance's stream that this glitch can happen, but my god, Cheyenne, why do your eyes float beside your head? Why does this only happen in my game? Everyone keeps claiming, no, that doesn't exist, Cheyenne, those are your fucking eyes! Howdy. So now I have video proof I'm not crazy! This keeps happening and I don't know why! <laughs> no one believed me! <laughs> now I have proof! Yeah, now I have proof. Uh, didn't mean to, uh... Let's see, I should probably drink some sarsaparilla to get rid of this. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard. And bring those on back to me and we'll get cooking. Okay, let's see. Just trying to think what I want first. We're going to we're going to need a lot. Um Cheyenne, why? You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. Well, yeah, you're the guy selling them to me. Also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Fair enough. Can do. Okay, let's start with selling some things. We don't need this machine gun, binoculars. I'm going to keep this machete just as a, you know, an option. We can get rid of the knife, the laser pistol, the... Grenade rifle. The pull cue the shotgun. Yeah, I'll get rid of the shotgun. Sturdy caravan shotgun. I think we're gonna hold on to that simply because of the uh like I wanna get rid of more weight than just three pounds. It doesn't weigh that much. We'll get rid of those. Yeah, you can have the varmint rifle. We only need one of these, so why don't we keep the Lightweight metal armor and get rid of everything else. Including my the clothes off my back. Get rid of that, that, that. A couple of empty syringes. Good. Now what do you have? I'll take some of these. Some of those, all of those.
Ooh, you got a plasma pistol? I'm not counting that. That's an energy weapon, but it's nice that you have it. Single shotgun. Okay. And now I can sell more things to you. Probably not going to use these. Oh, oops. You don't need all that. Another satisfied customer. Take it easy now. Okay, but now I can equip this pistol and repair it with this other pistol. I only have nine shots of that, unfortunately. At least I have a lot of nine millimeter ammo now. Let's see. Let's go grab the um the Brock Flower and Xander root. Well, hello there, Mr. Scorpion. My game for Oh, there no, it's gone. Oh, you can give a gland. Wow, that's actually very lucky. The coyote den? That's ah, fine. We'll go to the coyote den first if you want. Let's see, where was I located again? Coyote pups, do you know? Yeah, you died by getting shot in the butt. I'll be back. I know you'll be back. Okay. There's the devil's gullet. Hmm. I forget, aren't there a lot of rad scorps around here that I should be worried about? Yep. Not going that way.
don't remember where the coyote den is. Sorry. I've been there before. I know I know the general area, but I'd rather not be looking for too long for it. Combat. Riveting. Wait, why'd I pick up bloatfly meat? You can't cook that in this game. You cook it in four. It does pretty much nothing in this one. Anyway, where's... Well, first off, I can take this stuff. You can, you just need to mix it with fruit. That's too much work. Oh wait, I forgot to grab the uh, flower. Yoink. I just realized I'm naked still. No, I'm not. What a thing to casually be not noticing. What do you mean I've been naked this whole time? Doc, I need to sell things to you. Welcome back. Wow, you're broke, Doc. Doc's only got a hundred caps to his name. Almost makes me feel bad. The Good Spring Cave is directly southwest of the Devil's Gullet. Okay, we'll take a look there as soon as uh, I grab, as soon as I take care of some of the things. Let me hotkey some of the weapons I'm using. Okay, so you said southwest. Ah. Aha.
What am I looking for in here exactly? I don't remember what's in the cave. You know, besides coyotes. Anywho. Feel like something should be on one of these bodies, but I don't remember. There's a lot of bodies. Laser pistol, that was it. Or maybe some other stuff. Ooh, a sledgehammer! That would be fun if I was using, you know, a melee character. Oh, and a dead bright follower. He should have an energy weapon on him. Well, that wasn't you, so... Oh, here we go. Plasma pistol. Very nice. I'm mostly going to be using it as self-otter, but it's self-otter. <laughs> Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on. Is a powder that heals now. me? Give it a try. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, well, I'll go do that eventually. For now, we're going to be heading south. Don't worry, we're going to be doing the Good Spring stuff, but uh, there's something I want a little bit more than the Good Spring stuff. And that would be our first companion. Five percent chance, my butt. Yeah, 
Why is this place gotta be full of death and geckos? Okay. Mm, here's exactly where I want to be. First off, Wasteland Survival Guide. Grab ourselves a conductor. Lead pipe, that's pretty expensive. Nothing in the full locker. Couple of sensor modules, perfect. Some scrap electronics. Vision battery. And there's our lovely destination. Oh, the beautiful town of Prim. You know, it's currently being accosted by terrible people doing terrible things. The NCR. Thanks. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. You act like I know who that is and then say like he's in the tent and I'm going to go, I don't care about no Lieutenant Hayes. Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant Ha, yes. Come on, let me over. Uh, gotta go around. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Luckily, disarming their minds doesn't really make me a bad person in their eyes, because I really don't want to, you know, blow my own legs off. That would be a bad thing. You know, in my opinion. Aha! Eat it! I have to be ready because they will chase me in here. Alright, that worked out wonderfully. Uh, let me just steal some of this casserole. Good stuff, Ruby's casserole. Dirty water, some maize, purified water. Can't steal your pilot light for some reason. Bottle caps.
carton of cigarettes. Oh, you guys are loaded, and by that I mean I'm now loaded because I stole all that stuff. I mean acquired it in the name of peace. So, with the one scrap metal we got earlier, the couple of sensor modules, the scrap electronics, let's try to fix this thing with parts! Begin. All right, we can head back to Good Springs. Wait, why'd I do that? I should go. I should totally uh, sell some of my junk at uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Jonathan. Hmm. Nash. Why don't I remember that guy's name? Like the the storekeep here. We'll find out soon. Johnson Nash. I don't know what yep. it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Now, I'm a courier. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Some men stole a package, a man in a checkered suit... And some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Sweet. You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? You got anything for sale? Sure, have a look. Okay, let's buy more ammo. No three, five, seven rounds. Dang. I could actually equip this one and then repair it with that. Uh, sell that. Sell this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, blap, 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 blap. Oh, all that money. All that sweet, sweet money. Give me a shot if you need anything else. His face looks like a raisin. It does. But a nice raisin. He's a nice guy. I'm done being nice. If you don't handle Yeah, uh, don't don't notice that uh, man behind you. Can I just say I love the fact that I took his clothes? 
And his severed leg is still pantsed. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Okay, let's see what you got. Um. Hmm. Nothing I'd actually eat. No, wait, gecko steak. Nice. Let's see. In return, I will give you grenades. Too many grenades. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, let's see. What was that about? It's like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo? Uh, yeah, let's see. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Train gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. I have no idea where that could go wrong. Though. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Eh, fine. Trying to track down the people who attacked me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did they say where they're going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants of Everything gets ship mad ship if you shoot it! It's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where are they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right. Be careful out there. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Now, let's see. You want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Be careful out there. Okay. Prepare. Who let you leave? Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Fix your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got... You were outside! Me. Here's some caps for the work. That's it? Are you implying I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Not on your life. Anyway. Be careful out there. Level up! Okay, let's see. Why don't we do some nice things? Oh, there's so many things we could put points into. Sorry, sorry I'm taking so long, I'm just thinking.
All right, let's go see Ringo. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I want you to not die. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. Why did we you need six strength back. again? Well, Let's one, I like the carry weight. Carry Two, uh, did you guys know that there's weapon handling in this game? And if you don't have the proper uh, amount of strength, the gun sways violently whenever you try to aim it. Well, some of the strongest pistols in the game require six strength. Heck, the 12.7... Round, the 12.7 mil, millimeter round uh, gun, and that, that's seriously what it's called, takes eight strength to wield properly. So we're not going to wield that one properly. But I like I need it for some of my favorite guns, including that gun and the Mysterious Magnum. Yeah, he doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the- Weapon handling now. applies to every single ranged gun in the game. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now... If some of the other people in town were also on board. I'll ask around and see if I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Why don't we wait until it's daytime so everyone will be where they're supposed to be? Like, for example, uh, you guys can see that the 9mm pistol, where it says STR under, uh, on the top right, that means I need 2 strength to wield it, I need 3 strength for this, 3 strength for that, and 4 strength for this one. But there are some that uh, require, like, 6 strength, inclu including the two guns that I mentioned, which are kinda gonna be some of my strongest guns that I can get. Let's see, let's wait an hour. Hello there. Oh god! I see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Line just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Don't fucking do that. Okay. You're a dangerous sort, I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful which made me follow you for a spell. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd got in your hands. I know, the star cap. This is getting creepy. Fine, just do me a favor. If you find more of those things and plan on keeping them, Watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed more than a few people to collect as many of those caps as he can. And your ignorance as to what they are won't protect you. Wait, what? Why are there coyotes attacking? Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Ma Why did they start attacking me? He doesn't count as a good Springs person, does he? 
maybe one of Eddie's shots like fired off in some random direction and it shot like a bighorn or something. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. All right. I'll be waiting. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Want to help us take him down? I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful. We don't have enough explosives to deal with uh, Easy Pete's. But we don't really need that one anyway. We need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Come on! You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. I actually do understand because I don't want you dying. Take it easy now. You're kind of the best. Like, after I'm done with Good Springs, I still want to sell things to you, dude. But I'm actually okay with you not taking part in the fight. How are you holding up? Yeah, we're going to be attacked by bandits. Want help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. They'll be using explosives more. I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. It's best, Doc. You take care now. Unlike most uh, Bethesda games, nobody is immortal slash essential in New Vegas. You know it. That's one of the best parts of this game. You can kill literally anyone you want. Yes, there are consequences. If you stealth, there's no consequences. But the game is always able to be beaten no matter what you do. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Yeah. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. I'm gonna be running and gunning. Luckily, they're all set up in a straight line right now. Oh!
So is everyone enjoying the game? <laughs> because yeah, this is this is uh, New Vegas, all right. I think your arm is in you. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. You got it. Ooh, that's an expensive baseball bat. Now we can go back to Prim. Let's see. It is technically possible to beat the powder gangers without losing rep to them. You have to run around acting like a bullet sponge while the militia deals with them. Oh, okay. As long as you don't attack, you won't get vilified. That's neat. I did not know that. Very much a leave the companions behind uh, scenario, yes. Let's see, can I? I cannot open that. Oop. Let's take some bottle caps, pistol, some med X's, rad X, Nuka Cola. I love that I don't even know what Eddie killed, but he got it. Eddie! That kills people! Now we have this flaming head! Do you see what you did, young man? And I will be back for you later. Elevator repaired.
Eddie, kill them! <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see. Yeah, give me all that. I think that's everyone. Let me just fuse all of my guns together. suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Um... Let's see. I hear you have information. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Or you could do- Oh, I don't have enough speech. Okay, you can go. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Sure, run away. You don't like you be much help. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms. See you outside. As much as I'd like to uh, get that speech check, I don't need him, and I'd rather him not die instantly, you know? Yeah, the sarcasm dripping off of him. Let's see, I could use some, uh, nuke. Some Sunset Sarsaparilla. Wait an hour. There we go. Good boy. Over here. Ooh, sunset sarsaparilla. Anything else in here? Eddie, what's taking so long? Eddie, finish the job. You're better than this.
See, Eddie, when you find someone, you must finish them. Good, you're learning. Leave no human alive. Okay, let's see. Hey, can anyone do... Can anyone do me a quick Google? Um, how much science is needed for Prim Slim to be hacked? Because I, I'm I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> I'm taking a quick hydration break while we, while uh, someone gives me the answer. Is it fifty? Oh, only 30? To hack Prim Slim? Really? Dang, I thought it'd be 50. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's pump this to 50. Next is lockpick. We need lockpick to 75, goodness. Yeah, educated, definitely. Okay, now let's make sure we loot everything off of these dudes. Eddie, come here. You are going to become my refrigerator. So why don't you take all but ten of my Sunset Sarsaparillas. You can hold my vodka, my whiskey, my wine. You are just going to be the best refrigerator. You know that? And you can hold on to my Nuka Cola. Now let me finish uh, the first floor before we jump up to the second. Ooh, a sensor module? Yeah. Some jet glue and cigarettes, some psycho, that's pricey. I swear every single time I try to take something from here, the skeleton always wigs out. I told you. Don't worry, this game works perfectly.
Ooh, more cartons of cigarettes. I don't smoke myself, but, uh, them's, them's good caps. Came, I thought one of them had a key. Did we not find the dead body with the key? Eddie, where's the person you killed who had the key? Ah, here it is. No, oh, it's not that hard to jump up. There we go, gun cabinet. Shotgun. Cowboy Repeater! Dang, nice! Well, that is everything. We made a good haul, Eddie! Wrong way. Now we're going to have to come back here once we have more uh, lockpick. And I mean a lot more lockpick. But hey, it works. Howdy. Let's see, where is Mr. Nash? Oh, no, I need to well, talk to you. That was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? How about you don't ever mention you and me in the same sentence again? You're rolling it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and... I'll take care of it, kind citizen! What are the qualifications for, Sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Maybe next time you can bring a new sheriff back with you. What are you talking about bring a new sheriff back? You have the best one here! Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim Sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah. Goodbye. Happy trails, partner. Oh, well, there we go. Everybody, get out of here! That's right, get out! Everybody out! Now I can loot this place. Hello, beautiful combat knife worth 262 uh, caps. You are beautiful. Let's see what else we can take around here. Hmm. 
Mmm, tasty. Tasty, tasty caps. You'd think they would take some of this pre-war money, you know? Ooh, 10 millimeter rounds! Eddie, move. Let's see, a couple of these are able to be opened. There's a hard one back here. Not going to be able to open that one. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, I got more drinks for you. Speaking of drinks, why don't we take some of this Sunset Sarsaparilla? And Nuka Cola. I saved the town! While robbing it blind, I also took the easiest path and just reprogrammed a robot. To do all the work for me instead of talk to people. Ew, imagine that. Talking to people. Going through quests. Ew. An introvert's worst nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. The next shop is located right over there with the two statues that are shaking each other's hands. I know there's a fight coming up, so... Game says I'm a renegade. Can you believe that, guys? Me, a renegade? I've gained karma, see? Eddie, where'd you kill? See if I can repair things on the fly.
Hmm. Might be able to take me until I reach the next destination. Alright, I'll be back for this station later. I mean, there's still a lot I want to do around here. It's just... I gotta get I gotta get to a place where I can start selling my loot. Oh look at the cute little scorpion it's dead. Oh wait, I might have a clan on it. Yes, 25. You see some boy? You see some? You got it? You got it? You got it! Good boy. You got it, Eddie? It's looking at me. It's running. That's what we're talking about, Eddie. Finish what you start. You're doing fantastic, boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you're just a killing machine. Now let's bump it all in the lockpick. I don't even know what you killed. Good job. Oh, someone want to kill me? You got it, Eddie? You got it? It's stuck in the ground? It's stuck in the ground. This game works perfectly. And I made it to the Mojave Outpost. See, the game's calling me a plunderer now. That's more like it. Hey. Now, sometimes at night we'll be able to find uh, the traveling merchant resting in here. There you... Game, please. Game. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, you just stop being fused with the gate. Sure. Here's what I got. He's got plenty of iron. Okay. I'm not saying anything is wrong with him, but it's just, please. I want to show people how much I love New Vegas. And the game is just like, what if I look horrendous most of the time? Okay. Sure. Works for me. <laughs> Oh, oops.
Thunder miscellaneous. Yeah. You can have one of these. You you can just be there. And we're not done with the shops. This place has another shop inside of it. Also, I think on one of these tables there might be a star cap. At least I thought so. We won't go quietly. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Uh, trade. Take a look. And you're one of the good traders. Look how much money you start with. Okay, so give me the three five sevens, five point five sixes, the nine millimeters. You got ten millimeters. You do not have ten millimeters. You can have that, that, all of these. This, ooh, those are worth a lot. Switchblade. Armor rifle. That armor that I never need and it just weighs me down. Scotch. Do I have anything worth four? Fine. The Legion can count on Perfect. that. Perfect. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. But now we get to talk to one of my favorite people. Oh, Major Knight. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or my uh, knight in shining armor. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in. Not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate. So if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parks, of course. Yeah, he's not, he's as uh, interesting as a plank of wood, but he repairs my things to 100%. Right, sign here, here, and here. So he can repair this. I don't really need that, but it's two cast. You can repair that. Yeah, repair that revolver. Give it the damage. And no, I'm not going to repair that 10 millimeter pistol. Costs a little bit of caps, but I still have good. I'm still good on caps. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Ah, uh, you and your nuclear winners. <laughs> Heard your footsteps coming up the ramp. Didn't sound like a trooper or one of the merchants. You a courier? If so. This might be your lucky day, if you don't mind walking a bit, and your eyes are good. You well, my eyes are probably better than so yours. I mean, your eyes kind of, your cheeks kind of sink into your glasses all the time. Your eyes are good. Let's see, it depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. I'll do it. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, 
I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Okay. Mind yourself on the plank going down. Oh, that's right. You give free sarsaparilla. You guys are fantastic to me. It's not even stealing! Okay, where's the beard man? Other building, right. Wait, is it beard or mustache? You might just have a mustache. Mr. Mustache, you in here? There you are, yep. We got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Anyway, I can help? Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Yes. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Evening. Can you find it in your heart? Okay, so that's the quest we're going to do first. Keep your eyes on the prize, the better quest of the two. This one is a super boring quest. It's go to a place, kill ants, come back. But I mean, it's super easy. The ants are right over there. Well, can't complain too much. Me, my gun... And any super powerful laser cannon are going to easily take them out. And it's not like there's some magical ant faction that we're going to piss off by doing this. Nectar's worth a good amount. Yep, that's it. Now we just report back to him. However, since I'm out and about already, why don't we head over to the uh, that station that I skipped over earlier that has the uh, bandits inside of it? Oh, what wonderful word! What wonderful language they have! I do love my beheading bullets. Also, I find it weird that in this game, and all, oh, like this area and only this area, you're able to just walk on top of the mantises and kill them. For some reason.
I killed their pet man. Oh, they have pets? Oh, that makes me feel bad. Yeah, I don't feel bad anymore. Let's continue. Uh, let's see. Ooh, first aid. Also, I got a guns and bullets book. Heck yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry, quick hiccup. Bam. More guns means more power. Why don't we quickly just walk through this area and kill some ants while we're at it? Did I say mantis? No, no, I think I said ants that time. Ah, no, it's this racetrack over here that has them. Eddie, you ready to kill? I do love scoring those crits. Oh, it's frenzied. It's killing its friend. You got it, Eddie? You got it? Yeah! Only in it for the nectar? Kinda. It's the only thing worth anything. Oh, was this was this your plan, guys? March forward in a straight line. How'd it work? You came at me in literally only a metal metal armor and a lead pipe. Oh, you guys are fun. That one at least had duct tape with them. Are you unarmed? You deserve that. Dude, you don't even have like proper attire. I just feel bad for these guys. Oh, you actually had a grenade rifle. Holy crap. Guess I should watch what I say. Almost came at me with a freaking grenade rifle. Let's see. We're going to sleep for 24 hours. Don't worry. We'll make sense. 
Just getting a quick stretch in while I do it. Everybody take a stretch break. Mmm. That's where the leader was. Out fighting scorpions in the middle of nowhere. Can't tell where they're shooting each other. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. I have to go. No time for strangers, huh? I should probably follow your example. That's the last time I pick up a straggler on the road, believe me. Anyway, I'll be taking your uh, seven star caps. Sucks that I don't know where her body dropped. Wait, do you guys know where she dropped? No, that's Tomas. Oh, there it is. Sorry, if you played this far in the game, you'd know why I did that. The question is, do I kill them? I'm a fat cat right now. Um. Tempting. I, I'm eventually going to make enemies of uh, Kaiser's Legion, but I don't know if I want to make enemies with them now. Because they could come after me with some death squads. Can I kill them? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I will oh, now it's a challenge. Cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton. To memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. Your crimes are unforgivable. As are all crimes. If you feel strongly about it, attack us. And soon you won't feel a thing. Blap, 
Can I kill them? <laughs> One dude and a little blap blap pistol took them all out. Put it all in lockpick. Let's see. Gunslinger, your accuracy in vats is increased. Ooh, don't care. Um, more bottle caps. Don't need it that bad. Oh, let's see. Prehension, roll, running gun, maybe? I need shotgun surgeon. That's only 5%, but it's fun when bloody mess just makes them go everywhere. Yeah, I like it when it goes. you lucky people who wants to say hi to me ah, I need more lockpick where are all the dogs Thanks, Eddie. Okay, now let's see. More dogs? More dogs. Nice! You even took its head off too, Eddie! You're my little boy. There we go. Ooh, dead prospector. caps. I know there's a science book somewhere in here.
Ooh, vending machines. Eddie! More drinks for you. There's the big science book. Big book of science! Laser pistols, some energy cells. All these lottery tickets that I can sell. Victory. I had to take that large whiskey bottle. I don't need that. Ten millimeter pistol and rounds. Once again, we're going to stuff you full of drinks. There really isn't anything amazing in this place. But hey, the big book of science, in my opinion, is worth it. Now, why don't we head to... First of all, I should save. Head to the Mojave Outpost. Let them know that I did what they wanted. And they can call me a good boy, pat me on the head, and say like, Hey, we're going to try to kill you later. But until then, good job. Morning. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... <sighs> All right. Thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Unless you burn the town, don't take blame that's not due. Things are gonna get uglier before the year's out. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting. But, orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell. 
and all I can do is sit here and watch. Quest complete! Okay, so why don't I head to Good Springs? See if Chet's got anything new for me. And by new for me, I mean he restocked his money. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Can do. Yeah, you got more money. You got more ammo too? Yeah, you got three five sevens. You got some 5.56s and you got some 9 mils. You my friend, Chet? Let's see. This deals 17 damage. What's the weathered deal? 19. Obviously, I'm keeping the weathered. At least 10 millimeters are worth so much. Nope, didn't mean to sell that one. Why did it switch? Another satisfied customer. Take it easy now. All right, I wonder if that means Doc has a hundred caps I could, I could take from him. You know, politely giving him something in return, but mostly taking, mostly taking. How are you holding up? Yeah, you got hundred and seven back. You know what? Why don't I buy all your stim packs? I'll be that nice friend of yours. need Hydra, but then again, you can't afford it. <laughs> oh, it sounds so mean. I'd give you this, but uh, it's out of your price range. Ha 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 Your poor... No, it's a different character, right? And... Why don't we head back to Prim? Hey, you cleaned up the dead bodies. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. No, you are not restocked yet. Dang, but you do have 200 caps. Hey there, Better than nothing, but still. I believe you can do better. Another satisfied customer. All right, let's wait uh, 24 more hours. I know I, I, I'm just waiting and instead of actually, you know, adventuring. But I want the time to pass so badly.
What are you doing here? There you are. This is our casino, punk. I was just checking the place out. Now I'll be on my way. We don't take kindly to tourists on our turf. You're gonna need to pay a fine if you want to leave in one piece. 100 caps should cover it. Your turf? I guess the news hasn't reached you that yet. Prim has law again. Fuck. We lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. Yeah, I'm still attacking you. I just wanted to get the speech check. And it'll be the last thing you hear. That if we did talk about burning the bodies, we don't want to set the places on fire. Let's see, did I get everything? You? You? Yep. Okay, now in three days, that casino will be operable again, and I can use my amazing luck in order to, uh, <laughs> you know, obtain money. <laughs> Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. You mentioned a reward? No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not going to come check. So here you go, just between us. Sweet service rifle. Some armor piercing rounds. Good stuff. We gotta get north to the gun runners. No, no, there's still plenty of places. I believe the next shop we gotta get our hands on is Novak. Wait, why am I walking? Yeah, by the way, I'm aware the uh, stream kind of hiccup there for a bit. Seems to be uh, equalizing itself out, so we'll just count that as a small hiccup. Scorpion glands, laser rifle. Oh, am I being attacked? Eddie, I'm being attacked! This well fortified house. Don't worry, I will free you, scorpions, and then you will be my friend. Dang it, Eddie. They were going to be my friend, I'm sure. Mm. 
So why are we waiting for time to pass again? Oh, uh, because after uh, Novak, uh, I'm sorry, not Novak, after Prim is given a new sheriff, three days later, um, Layla and company will journey to Prim <laughs> and essentially, sorry, I, I'm... Thinking I need to drink some sarsaparilla. Let's see, I could probably drink three of them. And then three days after... Um... Yeah, th three days after uh, you defeat Layla, the Vicky and Vance Casino will be a casino. As in, like, you can gamble there. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Declaration of Vital Essence? I don't remember that. What, what, what's that? I, Harry Collins, sole proprietorship of Vital Essence and claim here to all legitimate rights versus all comers town. Oh, this is basically him saying that uh, he's fortifying his house. And if I remember, this one of these houses has a very enraged Mr. Gutsy. Every day is a good day to die. Wait, was that steak? It was steak! Dang it, Eddie, why do we keep getting full? And the answer is because I keep picking stuff up and not selling it. But I need that startup money. Yeah, it's a fancy last will and testament, you're right. I need to start selling my miscellaneous items. And my weapons. And really everything. I wonder if uh, John Johnson Nash ha uh, is now available for selling now that I've fast traveled back and forth so many times and waited a day. Hey there, youngster. Yeah, you are restocked. Okay, I'll take the 357s, the 10 millimeters, 5.56. 5 
You are not selling nine millimeters. Oh. Wow, that was only worth nine. Another satisfied customer. Okay, and now we can head back to the Mojave Outpost. Let's see if that traveling merchant changed. Or if there's, uh, just... Like, a new traveling merchant, because there are more than one of them. Nah, same one. But you have a new stock. Need anything? Sure. Here's what I got. Yes, you do. Point three five sevens. Nine mils. You can have the Ripper, service rifle. You can actually have this helmet. I'm not going to use it. Dang, those are some heavy lunches, but they're good. They're good heals, so I'm not going to get rid of them. This, not the uh, lightweight stuff. Where's the... Yeah, take this conductor. Yeah, these cards are weighing me down. Closer and closer to being lightweight. <laughs> Not to mention all the stuff Eddie's still carrying. Background? Just my luck. What'll it be this time? Take a look. Oh, yeah. Because I leveled up enough, you're now you now have two thousand caps worth. That's that's amazing. Uh, yeah, give me the ten mils, five point five six. Nothing else. What's the road? Oh, uh, the two hundred in the stream title. I am trying to get to two hundred followers, and I'm and anyone who wants to join, feel free to follow along. That's all it means. Like, I'm advertising that I am trying to hit 200 followers. Anytime I do a bonus stream, I kind of announce that, going like, Let's go! Let's go, everyone. Okay. 
Okay, I'll finally get rid of that. Okay, so what's my weight load now? 79, perfect. Let's uh grab some more. Been doing a lot of good Perfect. Oh, me and my trusty uh, 9mm. However, now I can start using other guns because I'm actually, you know, picking up the ammo for them. Not gonna empty the fridge out of Eddie. Later. We'll get to it. I don't want to spend too much time there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's head back to Nipton. I will grab a couple of uh, Sunset Sarsaparillas from him, though. To uh, make sure I always have 10 on me. Welcome to Nevada. I'm going to save here. Because this is about the time when I'm going to be attacked by a grenade, uh, grenade launcher and the dude's mean. Come on, I was pressing that. That's a big gun you got up there. Mind me, I'll be taking that. <laughs> You're coming at us with a rate with a melee weapon, so you have to walk all the way around. Oh, stop. Oh no, it's them! I knew they were coming after me! I'm taking that. Okay, a couple of things. One... Sunset Sarsaparillas. Next... Where's my stim packs? Where's my stim perks? Gonna hotkey those. Oh, 
And this is why we don't pick fights with uh, the Legion too early on in the game. Because if you're not ready for them, they are ready for you. And if I picked a fight with the Legion, I need to raise my guns. You got Centurion armor? Nice. Combine those Centurion armors. Make a nice cell fodder later. Woo! That sucked. We're gonna need bigger guns to take them out. One of the one of the guns I need for them uh, to be. To have more consistent wins and not just spamming stim packs because I'm frightened. Um, I'm going to need uh, to hit Novak and I'm going to need to hit Vegas. There's Starcast by the mines? Like these mines? I don't know what mines we're talking about. I don't know this area that well. I know there's a dude with a grenade launcher up ahead. Oh, by the landmines. Okay. You like that? This is actually fairly expensive. Uh, pricey armor, I'll take it. I don't know which pieces are which. Alright, we are definitely saving after that encounter. Oh boy. <laughs>
And that wasn't the Legion scouts that are supposed to show up here at some point. Oh, there's a fun uh, melee weapon near here. Novak is that way, but if we head he over here to this shack, we can find a really nice melee weapon. And even though we're not going to use it, it's pricey. It's this cleaver, the chopper. Look at look at that value. Is there a traveling merchant around here? The legendary version of a cleaver? Yeah. Don't mind me, just loon what you killed. There's the traveling merchant. Oh, multiple traveling merchants. Hey there, need anything? Sure. Okay, so let's take some of that. Some of those. And you can have this pistol. Shotgun, some dynamite. Hey there, need anything? Sure, here's what I got. Now you're gonna give me those rounds, more rounds. I'll give you this machine gun. Dang, super sledges are worth so much. I got mostly expensive stuff on me right now. But it's time to head north towards Novak. Just, I'll just ignore all the violence around me. It's not like they're coming after me, right? Lol, Legion didn't stand a chance. Oh, the poor Legion. Coming after them with spears when they have, you know, guns. There seems to be a lot of things that hate me around here. Oh, gosh. Like that. That thing very much hated me. Luckily, I have Eddie killing things. A 
Really? Oh, you guys are so fun. And just for that, I'm going to go storm your base that's over there. Just give me one second. It will take us a little bit of a walk. But, you know, it's it's going to be worth it to end all of your friends for, you know, be irritating me slightly. Woo! I'm the hero! Oh, God! Oh! Dang! Need some, need some sis brill for that one. Grenade rifles. You know, I was kind of surprised I didn't see any earlier, but going hard on that Sasperiel, yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, earlier enemies have them, but vipers can spawn with grenade rifles. And they hurt! Okay, let's take a quick pit stop over here. In the ranger station. Then we're going to head back to Prim. Not that I believe that the casino is going to be operable. I mean, we might as well check. But we're here for Lucky. Let's save. Just in case I waste all my bobby pins. There we go. And inside here is Lucky! So for those of you who don't know, Lucky is another 357 revolver where this one deals 21 damage with 42 DPS. Lucky deals 25 damage and 88 DPS. It fires faster, but not only that, due to its name, it has a much higher crit chance. Yeah, the legendary 357 Magnum. Also, it has a very nice uh, art style. Like, I think on the uh, hilt, you can't see it here, but uh, it does have, like, the four suits of cards on it, and it's just this nice white and gold uh, gun. No, it doesn't look like they've uh, done anything here yet. But this is going to really help with the crits. And the crits are very important to me. Like, between uh, having 10 luck... Wait, what? 
Oh, I thought I heard bullets. Uh, between having 10 luck, I'm also going to pick up the finesse perk. Uh, I'm going to wear the beret that we're going to get in Novak. And also, I'm going to uh, get the better criticals perk. Like, this is going to be a very crit-heavy build. We're dealing with pistols here. It's not packing the normal firepower. But yes, yes, welcome to Novak. Oh, hey, you all are here. I'm just standing. And here's our next shopkeep. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. What do you sell here? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. What about supplies and guns? Do you sell those? Guns? I, uh, well... Yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Let's see what you got for sale. Sure thing. Have a look. Okay. Ooh, 357 rounds. A lot of them. Yes, please. More 5.56. More 9 mils. Fantastic. All right. We could sell our regular uh, 357 Magnum. You could just steal that gun. Yeah, I'm not buying the T-Rexes. Please don't make me buy the T-Rexes. Okay. Now we have the 357, a 10 millimeter. We need a special, we need this one, but you can, but Maria is only available off of Benny. Uh, but that gun is located in this very shop. Buy the T. Okay, I'll, okay, fine, fine. We will buy. Does it take up weight? It takes up weight. We will buy one. T-Rex. Okay, chat, we will buy one T-Rex. Okay? We are supporting his business. <laughs> hey, welcome to the chat. Oh, this has been a fantastic stream so far. <laughs> you guys are great. Um... All right, sell some of those. Come back. Okay, now we're going to wait until nightfall. Don't mind me, just in the corner. Boom, get out of here. I love you, Cliff, but I'm about to steal your stuff. And you, Eddie. Must be doing something right. Eddie, leave. Now we have to wait for Boone to walk through. Any moment now. Come on, Boone. Don't want you uh, walking through. There's no way you're already at that post.
Boone walked through. Oh, he did? I thought that was Manny leaving. He's already there. Oh, he is. Oh, you're right. Okay. I, I didn't notice. Sorry. Okay, we're stealing that because I'm a good person. Taking those bobby pins because I'm a good person. Unlocking the door because I'm a good person. I'm trapped because I'm a good person. Anyway, uh, yeah, this, this place is irradiated. It might be kind of difficult to see the gun, but it's located right here. We could take that gun. So, something really neat about this gun, and by this gun, I mean that gun. It's called that gun. It's literally called that gun. It's got a bonus crit chance similar to that of Lucky. I don't know why Lucky doesn't state that it has a bonus crit chance. Does it do? But that gun takes 5.56 rounds. The same thing as that terrible um, varmint rifle. That we've been you that the game keeps shoving into your hands whenever you start this game. This baby right here, that gun, and as you can see in the top right corner, strength six. This needs six strength. That is why we have six strength. Um, so this is a very crit heavy gun. It uses 5.56 and is very powerful. However, I don't think I have the guns to use it yet. Let me check my stats. Okay, no, I do have the guns to use it. Okay. I apparently thought ahead. Thank you, Past Q. So, now we can add this to the list of guns that we can use. And I do love the look of this one. It looks almost futuristic. And I I'm going to say this. It probably only looks futuristic to me because it's got that silly little neon light on the side of it. Aren't you... Beautiful. Anyway, Boone, come with me. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? I was very loud. Um, just looking around. There's nothing up here. There's you. There's a sniper. I think you better leave. Please don't kick me out. I don't have friends here. I'm gonna make that different though, buddy. I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. You trust strangers? I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Ooh. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. You got it. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. <laughs> About that. Legion's after me and you're going to be my best friend. Yeah. He said yeah! Okay. So, first thing we need to do is head in here. We don't have to do this part, but I kind of like to do this part. And what I like to do is stealing! So, here's the bill of sale that proves that, the pers that this person sold Boone's wife. And the person who sold Boone's wife is Jeannie Mae Crawford. You! <laughs> you got up way fast. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a thing. Uh, 
Come with me. There's something from the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. That was really easy and required no speech whatsoever. Anyway, I'm just put on this hat. Boon! I found them! Shooter! Yay! You got anything on you? That's it then. How did you know? This bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Well, you could come with me. You don't want to do that. Yes, I do. I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Woo! New partner! Partner in crime! Oh, we got best boy Boone and our little buddy Eddie. And we're going to go murder across the wasteland. Now we get to wait until daytime. Manny! What's going on, man? You're going to tell me what I'm looking for. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? To kill him. Doesn't surprise me. Guy seems like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay, I'll see what I can do. It'd mean a lot to me. Bye. Yeah, see ya. Okay, come fly with me. All right, so let's see what we got to do. Before we go over there, though, we might as well take care of what's around the area and grab what we need before going in there. How's my inventory looking? I'm still good on weight. Free frag grenade, sweet. But there's some golden geckos around the area. And also there's... We're looking for Mr. Radical, I think. A lot of dead legionaries. Part of me thinks that I should be concerned. But it's probably because of our wonderful sniper here. Ah, there it is. Mr. 
Mr. Fantastic. No, no, no. Fantastic is located uh, in Helios 1. We're looking for this dude. Mr. Radical's journal. But we need the isotope 239 igniting agent. These golden geckos are worth so much XP for how easy they are to kill. Though I do need to be careful. They give a lot of rads if they actually manage to bite you. We're talking a huge stinking chunk of rads. Not taking the radiation suit? It's not worth that much. It's like 26 caps. Doesn't even help all that much. Also, I love how fast that gun uh, reloads. Oh, it's dead. All right, good job, us. Plus rads in the... Oh, you meant for using... No, no. R rads are so rarely an issue in this game. They're so easy to fix. That I, that I barely even think about them. Alright, and the next thing we need is some thrust module controls. And please be uh, civil about me using the word thrust. Now, we don't want to kill the lady outside. I don't think chat wants me to. But we are going to steal from her, because she's going to charge us an arm and a leg for that stuff. Hello, old lady Gibson. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Show me what you got for sale. Happy to do it. She usually doesn't sell anything, like, good. Mostly junk. Maybe a couple mods here and there, but... She does have a lot of caps, always. So here's some psycho, some purified water. You can have steady some syringes. Oh yeah, and I have that legionary Daenerys. Daenerys. Legionary's money. 
Denarius. Oh right, now I have that. Sweet. Another satisfied customer. Take care now. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Eddie's first words, I'm so proud. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Okay. Hey. Anyway. Don't mind me just sneaking on through. Don't mind me just sneaking on through. All right, got the thrust module controls. Isn't it nice to, to remind the chat frequently that we are the good guys of this campaign? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm neutral as of this point. Let me see what the game thinks of me. No, I'm, I'm evil. Pirate of the Wastes. Sweet. What can I do for you? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. No, that's a sense. Anyway. What you got? I must kill more ghouls? It's true. Hey, guess where I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go kill more ghouls. I am a good person. The game told me that shooting people is good. Therefore, shooting people is good. Specifically, ugly people. Nothing good there. Ooh, some chat. We're not going to use the drugs because using drugs is wrong until the next game. But until then... Hang on. I'll make this easy. Frag mines. Nice conductors. Those are worth a lot. Ooh, energy cells. Grenade box? Don't mind if I do take some grenades and sell them. I like making money. Is there something about Fallout 4 that incentivizes drug use? 
Drugs are OP. In Fallout 4, drugs are the easiest thing to make and turn you into a god among men. And holy crap, next playthrough I do, I'm going to be the most coked up person imaginable on stream. You guys just wait, I've been planning that one for a while, I'm making my own chem lord. All glory to the psycho jet! But that's going to be next playthrough. In this playthrough, we're an evil person who says no, no to drugs. I may be okay with, with, uh, <laughs> mass larceny, but I draw the line at drugs. You're okay with mass larceny? Ooh, level up, sweet. Well, that's unfortunate. I do need 55 science by the end of this mission. Okay, so let's see. We don't need Scrounger because, well, I'm sure you've noticed, I'm pretty good on getting ammo just by buying it. Uh, don't really need that, because, well, I do, f like, those are weak things. I don't need to do more damage against them. Uh. I mean, I guess I could take this, because I am, like, if I got a backpedal while I'm shooting, this really is not a bad thing to have. Although I am curious, when do I get Grunt? What about Gunslinger? I was looking into that. Uh... I need more explosives to do that. How much more explosives? One more explosive. Hmm. That hurts. I'd have to give up the one science point I need. Well, I don't even need it. I just like doing it. But I could get Grunt, which makes my 9mm pistols do more damage, including Maria later. I'll, ta I'll leave it as is and get a uh, Gunslinger. Wait, no, not Gunslinger. Screw Gunslinger. Your accuracy is increased in VATS. Like, I only use VATS when the enemy is so close to me, it's hard to hit them. Because they're moving around so much. I want run and gun. Like, yeah, if I was sniping with a pistol and VATS, then I would definitely take it, but that is not the case. I don't think it's a bad skill, I, I just, it doesn't fit, like, how I like to play the game. Hey, over here. Are you listening? No. Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Sure. Stop wasting time. I said sure. You're very rude. Please get a crit. 
<laughs> oh, the unnecessary crit, just like when I play Pokemon. equip that beret I did not that's five percent more crit chance and uh on level 10 I'll be able to get the finesse perk for five more crit chance But don't mind me just walking through this very peaceful facility. I didn't pick up that. I do not need a paint gun. No matter how much fun it sounds like using. make this easy I'll just go kill the nightkins now I don't need their permission oh nightkin dark in here if you want to use a scope I can spot for you keep you on target Very rude. Oh, I need to hop up on more, uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. You guys take care of Davidson. Remember what you said about A, letting you target them while invisible? That's true. I, I could do that. You know, if I knew where exactly they were. Yeah, more crits, more crits. Woo! Incinerator. They should be able to handle it, though. That's okay, guys. You're only extraordinarily burst into flames.
You're fine. Yeah, heavy incinerator. All right, I think that's all the Nikens I need to take care of. I do know that there's that optional, uh, uh, like, ghoul down there in the death trap filled room, but we don't really need to take care of that. Well, and talk to Jason before I yeah, but you didn't have to say it like that. The great one can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. He should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Yes. I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Demons? The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us. But they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. The demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Away with you! Away with you all! Now we need to head into Davison's room behind this door down the secret staircase they can move really fast Like, they're already all in position. I just got here. I 
I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. I wonder no what it is. Thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Goodbye. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yeah, there's a space helmet here and a space suit. It's very pricey. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great. Jeez, Jedi. dude, I know you said I'm ugly, but you could at least open your eyes while talking to me. What? How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before okay, now we your eyes are open. <laughs> hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Luckily for you, I have both. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Found it. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Fantastic. Wait, now what? All I need is the thrust control modules. You could have told me that beforehand here. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. We're good? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Evening. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Evening. Yeah, he, he can do a speech. I don't really care that much about it. He's gonna... It, it, there's gonna be this reveal of Chris going like, What do you mean they're not taking me with them? I'm, I'm just going to ignore that part. Yeah, but that's Chris's problem. Chris can deal with his uh, realization that he's not a ghoul in time. He'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Us, however. Viewing platform. And now we can uh, examine the navigation data further. And we can, we can make the change because we have 55 signs exactly. So now they're going to actually make it. <laughs> Chris can have a crippling identity crisis near someone who cares, which is not us. You're free! Oh, that one has spiraled off into some direction. Yeah, they're dead. They are very dead. But hey! They're gone. All of the ghouls are gone. We did our job. Unfortunately, we could not fast travel away from there. So we actually do have to find a door out.
God dang it. Keep getting lost in these buildings like this. Ah, there we go. But now I can fast travel. So let's see. Why don't we, uh... First off, let, let's finish off the mission at Prim. Why'd I say Prim? We have to go to Novak. Not Prim. We should wait until it's daytime so that Manny will be there. By the way, Chris is here now. If you saw him walking around, he just lives the rest of his life here in shock and going like, what am I going to do with my life now? And it's just like the same thing everyone else does in the post-apocalypse. Nothing. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now, about the man I'm looking for. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. That's all I needed to know. Hope that helps. I owed you. Yeah, see ya. And now Novak idolizes us. So, before we end things off completely, though, we're going back to Prim. This place still not up and running? Ah. Uh. Come on, it takes three days. How long have I been running around? It feels like it's been taking forever. There we go. People are now here. Welcome to Vicky and Vance. Can I help you with an exchange? Yeah, I want chips. How many chips would you like? Thousand. Here's your chips. Is there any another thousand? Here's how many another thousand? Here's it's really if I mess up a few times, I don't want to come back here. So the first thing we're gonna do is play slots until we hear a ping. Okay, that's that's the noise. And we get a hundred XP or ninety-nine XP. And there we go. Now we can put the last point into explosives. We have enough science as of right now. We got the lockpick, we got the barter. Let's pump our guns more. Okay, now we can play roulette. Ten times. This one takes way longer.
That's the third time in a row we got two. Yeah, I figured. Come on. We're not here to win. I just want the XP from this. Yeah, that was the last one we needed to do. Okay, but now we're going to make money. Hello there. Are you ready to get robbed out of everything you got? Because for those of you who don't know how betting works in uh, like Blackjack of Fallout New Vegas, the answer is if you have more than seven luck, like seven, eight, nine, ten, and I have ten, watch this. I'm betting the max each time. Deal. I win. Stay. Oh, no. Broke even. Good job for you. Deal. I win. Deal. Um, double down. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> Deal. Double down. Double down. Oh, what's that? I did so well, you kicked me off the table. Our first hot streak since we opened this place back up. Here's a little something on the house. Thank you. Bet Max. Deal. I win. Deal. Double down. I win. <laughs> oh, what's that? I did too well again. Uh, it accidentally zoomed into Boone. He's the guy who was talking behind Boone. Like, it, Boone was in his way like this. So, that's why his the mouth didn't move. Bet Max, deal. Stay, it's 20. I win. <laughs> Again. Double down. <laughs> 18 hit me <laughs> You're the luckiest player I've ever seen. Keep up the good work in here. Oh, uh, again. Hit me. Sorry, you just went too much. We can't let you play here anymore. <laughs> okay, I've been kicked out. Hey there. Welcome to Vicky and Vance. Can I help you with an exchange? Yeah, I'd like to turn in my chips. Cap. I made a profit of like 2,612. And that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys had fun with it. Now, uh, if we do get back to New Vegas, we are actually right before Boulder City, which is the last location before New Vegas itself begins. And at that point, we pretty much hit the halfway point of the game. Until then, this has been your host, Kazar Spell. Hoping to see you in the next video or live stream and signing out.